Hello, this is Cloplot321, and this is PHP with MySQL Tutorial 08. And this one will be going over how to create a login system using MySQL and PHP along with sessions. So, first of all, we have um, several files, an include file which we will put our um, basic functions in, and we will start the session here every time. Next, we have um, to do the MySQL connection. So I have an example here from php.net. So I'm going to copy the basic um, information and uh, so these couple lines here and I'm going to paste them in for pretty much a template. So um, I'm going to save it now and go to my index which also includes that include.php. I've already put that into all my files here. So I'm going to say Let's um, see if they're already logged in through a variable in our session. And I'm going to say that variable is um, is in. So I'm going to say, say session and then is in. And then I'm going to say if it's one. So now I'm going to put this into an if statement to test if it's true. And remember that double equals for testing. So now I'm going to say yes, we are logged in. and then we're going to put in the content that we can um, say that they're logged in. So I'm going to say, hey there, you seem to be logged in. Now, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, would you like to go to the members only page? And so here I'm typing in the, uh, the link to it. And I'm also escaping that double quote so that I can type it in within double quotes. Um, escaping is the backslash again. So now I'm going to say go to the members only page and then I'm going to end that link and then I'm going to also provide a link for logging out I have already have a file made for logging out um, so I'm going to say where would you like to log out I'm going to push enter here um, with a break return um, so now I'm going to put in the link to the uh, logout page um, escape the double quote again and say logout um, dot php because that's what I've called it and then I'm going to say logout and then I'm going to close the link so um, now we have established what happens when they're logged in so now we need to establish what happens when they're not logged in so I'm going to show the login prompt now this is a form so I'm going to um, simply just do a static HTML section by ending PHP and beginning it again. So I'm going to say my action refers to itself with a question mark. I'm going to say the method is post. Post does not put it into the URL, so it's a bit safer if someone tried sharing their information that way. Um, so now I'm going to end that form of the HTML, and I'm going to start the input for the username and for the password. So the username needs to be a type and tech as text so that the person can actually see what they are typing in. Next, I'm going to call the name so that I can refer to it in the request or post variable as username. And then I'm going to uh, label it using uh, just text next to the side. You could wrap it inside of the label elements, but that's not necessary. So I'm going to say password now and I'm going to pretty much do the same basic thing so I'm going to say the type is equal to password and I'm going to say the name is equal to password so then I'm going to do another break return after this and then I'm going to put in the submission button and that will send the form so type equals submit and I'm putting value to actually set the text on the button I'm going to say log in. So after that, um, the form is pretty much complete. And I just have to save it and I can see it. And as you can see, I need to change the information in my MySQL um, statement because um, those are obviously not the, that's not the information that I have set. So I'm going to use PHP user and PHP pass, which I have set in previously. So um, now that it works, I'm going to. Uh, go ahead and uh, do the login and just show that it works um, 
but I'm not logged in because I've not actually set anywhere in the PHP to try to log in. Um, also, uh, I'm going to set a type a hidden element, and I'm going to say the name is equal to sub, and the value is equal to one. I'm going to use this to test to see if the person is trying to log in or not, because they might leave the username blank and they might use the password blank. So or either one and I just want to make sure that I have something I can always depend on so it's a hidden element. So I'm going now to see if the person has tried to log in. And I'm going to detect that by saying if the uh, request of the uh, sub you could say username but again it would be best to, uh, to detect with the sub so I'm going to do an is set to see if it's actually set or not. Um, really don't care as long as it is set because that means we're submitting it. So I'm going to say the username is equal to the trim, which means it gets rid of the spaces on the, on the edges of the request of the username. Next, I'm going to say the password equals the trim of the, of the password. So um, next, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the uh, the uh, two values to see if it's safe to uh, to put it into our MySQL. So right now I'm going to make a username table, and I'm going to say there's three fields: one for ID, another one for user, and another one for password. I'm going to set my ID to an auto increment and the index to be primary. Um, this is so that I can refer to it at a later time and it queries quicker. So the password, I'm going to set to a various character with 256 letters because we're going to be hashing it. Um, uh, now, um, I should just be able to save it. Um, so I'm going to go to the bottom and click on Save. And as you can see, it has been created. So let's go ahead and insert a user. And I'm going to say the user is going to be called Pickles. So next, I'm going to have uh, the password. I'm going to set it to MD5. Of, um, of whatever I want. So I'm going to say chop suey. I'm not sure if that's spelled right or not, but um, whatever. I'm going to paste it into a comment into my HTML so I can just copy it at a later time. Um, so now as you can see, I do have this information in and the password is hashed. It's not plain text that you can read and see. So now you can um, go ahead and try in the uh, in the PHP to make to prepare the username I'm going to say that it's the real escape string and you can actually do the real escape string on password 2 but it's not necessary and um, so the next thing you would do is actually time to, to set the query so I'm going to say dollar sign SQL equals and then double quotes select from or select star from users where um, username equals and then whatever I'm going to say dollar sign username and inside it inside single quotes not the little ticks and in capital letters because it's a logical and password equals and then the password in single quotes now this is where I'm just going to do an MD5 um, because it, we don't need to really set it up because MD5 is only contain uh, 0 through 9 and A through F. So there's no need to uh, worry about it as it's just hex, um, which cannot have any uh, issues inside of it because we cannot put any legal characters in it. Um, so next, I'm going to say the result equals my MySQL query of the SQL. And after this result, I'm going to see if it exists. So I'm going to say zero um, or false. And I'm going to say while row equals MySQL query or fetch array of the query, which is the result, I'm going to say um, that exists equals true or one, whichever you want to choose. 